<laughs> Yo, what up, YouTube? Um, I just got through uh, doing a little, little kung fu fighting type of shit. You feel me? But um, you feel me? We we here though. On some shit. <laughs> Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> you know, I wasn't even gonna try to get up and do all that shit though. But look though, worst things about every generation. My boy Tommy NFG, for you hear me? Now we fuck with Tommy NFG over here. Chad, what's some worst things about every generation? Or, I mean, we already know it. We already know every damn near fucked up thing about um generate um you know generation of you know our our generation Gen Z and whatever Gen Z this generation Gen Z I don't know why I said my generation say my fucking generation Gen Z um and back in the day and shit I don't know Gen Z is probably like one of the worst generations though definitely because they ass be oh. Overdoing it, I ain't gonna lie to you though, but let's let's get into this shit though, you feel me? Let's go. Generations of humanity have come and gone for the last 2,000 years leaving their own Generations the of humanity have come and gone for the last 2,000 years leaving their own personal impacts on it. There was Tight the shit. generation that created wheels, the generation that created cars, and Tight recently, shit. the generation that created mukbangs. See his shit, Rico? Shit nasty as hell, ain't it? Oh, shit nasty as hell, fo. Type shit. Trifling ass motherfuckers. Why I was spaz humans. We fought with animals only over here. Fuck you talking about, yo. You feel me? Fuck them. I get your ass down. Mm. Alright, back to this nasty ass shit. The so point is, whether born in the 1200s or 2000s, every generation has their impact they crater onto society. <laughs> and today, I want to run through every generation's most terrible garbage and trash faults left onto this Ew. world. I'm mainly going to be talking from a American and Western perspective because that's simply what I know. And let's start off right. with none other than boomers. Boomers are people born oh, yeah, from boomers. 1946 to 1964. Damn! Uh, sorry, it's just reflexes, my bad. And to a lot of people watching this, they're probably your grandparents or even great-grandparents if they make it that long. But y'all already know that. Let's just start off with like the one that's just most clear as day. Old traditional mindsets. Yeah, let's just say that boomers Man, didn't really grow God, up in the grandma. most inclusive of time. We all know this for a fact, and it doesn't really take much to show when you talk to oh, someone. Angry grandpa, you man. speak to them, and they speak with the most outdated and out of pocket language that hasn't been used since those times. I know for a fact we all have that older family member that when you hear them speak, you just gotta think, thank God they ain't born in this generation. Because they would be canceled with the swift. Yo, that's my fucking grandma. G, oh my brother Gray, that's my whole grandma foe, you feel me? But it is what it is, Listen, though, you feel me? every single job opportunity is, room for them for life. Like, they would actually have zero chance of holding a future career just off of the tweets they would make. And it's not like I'm expecting them to be updated with Webster's Dictionary of every inclusive, non-gender conforming, hurting terminology. Right. But my nigga, it's the 21st century and you're still saying colored people. Let it go, little bro. And when you confront them about it, they just go, hmm. Well, sorry, I'm not always updated with you young people's sensitive doohickey terms. And I think it's because a lot of them have grown up with this mindset being the norm and normal for so long that they don't want to change it at this point. Like, you can tell boomers are stubborn just by looking at politics. Politics is basically a nursing home at this point. All they have to do is change the logo of the White House to say nursing home. The last two presidents Hell have no, been absolute depleting fossils. And everyone else in that None shit is too. You got from, niggas uh, freezing up on stage like so. Eminem did an eight mile there up. needs to be a hey. point when the younger generations Stop. step there in go. there and tell them it's Stop. time for a nursing home they have no Wait, choice move, and when i say move, traditional move, mindset people immediately move, assume i'm move. talking about the husband and housewife move, thing but move. no i have no problems with anyone who wants to do that it's 100 percent your choice and if it works it works no matter the generation boomers will also complain about how the younger generations aren't already financially set talking about mm -hmm. back 
when I grew up, I got married at 19 and had a house by 22. Oh, Why hell no. Why guys doing the same thing? Like, my nigga, back in your day, you could buy a five-cent candy bar and save up fifty to $70,000 for an average house. Let's see how much the average-priced home in the United States of America costs now. Uh, oh. Damn. Yeah, I don't think this is getting paid off with the McDonald's salary, bro. And it's not like they even help the younger generations after this. Everything boomers have done for the economy has been for them. Like, how many old people have y'all seen on the road randomly with the most luxurious convertible car? Meanwhile, everyone else is kind of thugging it out and taking the I pain. I think that's enough. Well, of Let's move you. on to the next one, which is Gen X. Gen X are people born from 1965 to 1980. And for a lot of oh. people watching this, this is probably the generation where your parents parents were born and aunts and uncles etc but starting off the rip i think a lot of people in gen yeah, x mama. kept the same old mindset that boomers had which kind of makes sense i mean a lot of right. people pick up mindset from their parents and grandparents what is this anime? but i don't know what i feel I, like what, younger what, generations what, actually what is this wrong from? there is such a divide between gen z and millennials versus their parents there really is so many people in gen z that are so mismatched with their parents mindset you would think they were born a hundred years apart gen x also has a super terrible work mindset like i 100 percent understand it's good to work hard and be working towards something always and achieving things but holy f you can at least give yourself some time to <laughs> yo i swear to god that's my mom <laughs> yo that's my mama phone i be hating when she be doing that shit. i be telling her that's the chill boy because when i was a little boy fo, i swear to god folk my mom been doing that shit since I was like a last kid. She already like, I swear to God, for like just overworking herself. When I be having to tell her, like since I'm grown now and shit, I be having to tell her that's like, chill out, folks. She ain't got to do that shit no more, for like, man. Breathe and enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's like some of them got a David Goggins motivation speech on loop 24-7. Them niggas would rather die at work surrounded by co-workers than die around their family. There's so many Gen X people that will complain about the younger generation's work habits and be like, I've been working seven days a week, 80 hours a week for the last 15 years of my life and y'all have the audacity to complain? Like, yes, my nigga, I am complaining. I don't want to do that. I want to enjoy life with family and friends. Friends, I got a solid 80 to 90 years of my life, my guy. Like, just because you were taught to do this as the norm back then doesn't still make it okay. I personally think it's just weird to them that the younger generations decided to not do it and try to change that attitude, at least. It's also annoying that they aren't the most tech-savvy people. And obviously, boomers no, are the my same mom way, tech savvy at all. Right. running companies and shit <laughs> now are Gen X. So they have to be caught up with the technology to keep up with the times, but they're just not there and are absolutely f***ing stubborn about it too it's like they're too skeptical to have anyone else younger help them with it their imaginary fear is they hire someone younger have them help them the younger person accidentally falls asleep on the job watching ice spice twerk compilations <laughs> and the company's servers explode and gen x was also the last generation to at least have a chance of getting a house and that's not even their fault but they still have the mindset that if you just work hard you'll eventually be able to live the american dream just like they did and looking at the stats now, yeah, that's not happening. Anymore. Hell no. But that's enough of Gen X. Let's move on to the next one, which is Millennials. Millennials are people born between the years of 1981 and 1996. And the one thing I personally hate for Millennials is them always shitting on Gen Z for everything. Now, <laughs> that's my mom. Millennial. I thought the other one was my mom, but that's my mom. A millennial motherfucker. <laughs> My mama Don't hates my mama Gen Z hey. isn't rainbow and sunshines with the atrocities we've already committed as a generation. I be seeing but that it's shit on Twitter. That hey, folks, 24 say all I see on Twitter is millennials. They be hating the fuck out of Gen Z. Well, no, I'm blaming because I be doing the same thing. You feel me? Fuck Gen Z. Is a millennial shits on Gen Z all the time, even though they experience the same bias. Yeah, for y'all that don't know, when millennials were young like Gen Z is now, the older generations thought they were the end of humanity, saying that they were too lazy, too overbearing, not trying hard enough. So when I see some millennials doing the same thing they hated back to Gen Facts. Z, it throws me off a little bit. Like, damn, bro, I thought we were supposed to be on the same side. What happened? Millennials also love to dick the ride fuck? the 90s and act like there's 50 years worth of differences between in the 1990s and 2000s they think it's like going from caveman times to world war one but in reality <laughs> the 2000s had the same amazing childhood shows and music Facts. and even the 20 facts does. tell me like they just close off their ears and I'll don't want to hear that good media was still made after the 2000s 
A lot of millennials also think Gen Z didn't grow up outside at all and think we were just shut in immediately for our entire life. Meanwhile, when I was a kid, I was playing outside every day. Boy, with when I was in the trenches, boy, look, even though it was bad, see, on Chicago, boy, South Side, me and Fodum used to be out there deep to see, boy, I swear to God, from the park, motherfucking anybody hood, boy, I'm hopping your gate and all type of shit, boy. Me and Fodum threw that bitch, boy. Fuck you talking about. That's all y'all now. Fuck you talking about. Damn. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I have not hooped in like four or five years. Don't ask me why, I just haven't hooped in like, hooped in like four or five years. I don't know, I fell off, I don't know. Well, my neighbors. We would all gather around the green electrical box thing, playing tag, a manhunt, jump rope, hopscotch, all the good stuff. I, I think that's definitely- I ain't gonna lie me and phone one play no jump rope, hopscotch. But, um, we was playing football, we was hooping, manhunt, fucking, we was slap boxing, slap boxing each other. Uh, we was getting police called on us on a daily basis. Got getting chased by dogs, shit like that. Definitely gonna be the Coco so Melon Gen Alpha kids. Like, they definitely grown up. You ain't from the trenches if you ain't never got chased by a dog. A lot of millennials are also known for choosing the dumbass degrees they have. You have people picking the most artsy, passionate degrees, but not the shit that actually makes money. Which is something Gen Z knows. Like, you gotta get some shit dealing with STEM or go to a trade school or you're probably gonna be broke. And to be fair, they still thought at the time a degree would always hold a high value forever and guarantee you a job. It's also the worst when millennials try so hard to fit in with Gen Z and the new social media culture like they'll say the slang and trend words but not in the exact way it'll go something like whoops not me dropping my pen no cap i've got to watch my steps i just got this huge <laughs> w promotion at my job how dank is that yeah man i'm on a roll sometimes you just gotta let it go a bit all right but that's enough of millennials let's move on to the next one which gen is z. gen z <laughs> the part you <laughs> Gen Z, man, fuck. All been waiting. <laughs> the boomers have been sitting in the back with the rocking chair, shaking their dentures in delight. Gen X getting ready to shit on their kids more than they already do. And millennials finally ready to not face all the hate. So let's start off with the one that every entire person, including Gen Z, is going to agree with. Being soft. It's no lie that we live in the single-handedly most generation when it comes to anything Puss it doesn't matter generation who you one. are what you say what you do someone will be offended and don't get me wrong okay millennials are pretty soft and similar to gen z but they would be at let's say the empire state building of being offended and gen z is on mars Pretty when it much. comes to being offended by shit. The mere fact that every single creator is terminally scared of being canceled. For I swear to God, and it's so fucked up because literally for like, you dead ass can't say anything that's really like nothing. If you was like, if you got some type of clout behind your name, any opinion that you might have had to yourself in the past, you can't share that shit online because dead ass boy, niggas will get you up on out of here. Niggas like, not like me though, because once I blow up this uh, stream and shit, I'ma still be the same me and not give no fuck about a folk where any nigga thinks sorry. If you hate me, then go ahead and hate me. I read your ass hate me, then bring around some fake ass, puss ass, lame ass, brute for that, stunky ass, fucking, fucking, firm ass niggas, boy. Saying anything out of turn is ridiculous. You got niggas canceling literal comedians whose job it is to make fun of things. And even if you do something by accident, there's no learning because you'll simply get banned. That's which probably the most really shit ever, for with Gen Z like that ass folk. Yo ass do anything out of line, shorty. Anything. Ain't no, even if you did on accident, you did not mean to do it. No, nah, ain't no coming back from it. You done. You get the fuck up. No, nah, get your bitch ass on. That's it, foe. Oh, no, nah, you done. Ain't no redeeming your soul. You no pot. No, nah, get the fuck on. See you back. Sorry. Even though cancel culture ain't real. I'm sorry. I don't believe in canceling people. Because I might be canceled on the internet, but in real life, foe, I'm still living my life. Why? Because a couple random motherfuckers online don't like me. Oh, no, my life is old. Y'all bitch ass. Solves on. nothing and just makes everything 10 times worse. We also got to mention Gen Z's amazing and wonderful attention spans. You can't emphasize enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No one give me solid attention span. A lot of you niggas, y'all niggas can't even fucking sit there and watch a fucking one, two, three minute fucking video that y'all has to be, oh, my God, fuck. I can't do why is it so long. My nigga, the video is three minutes. Stop scrolling on Tic Tac -y all day. Do something else with your life. Go read the book, folks. Stop, stop throwing, scrolling through those little shorts and shit. That's like 10, 20, 30 seconds. 
God damn, you niggas, boy. How the fuck do y'all still be watching movies? How much Gen Z's dopamine receptors have been absolutely fried. No one can focus on a single task for more than 10 minutes without feeling the urge to make sure their phone is in their pocket and opening TikTok. And the fact Facts, that not only niggas. is short videos not enough to appease our attention span, that we have to add another video on- Oh, you know so crazy? Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a little, little something. I used to see these a lot, right? Like, say it was like a motivation type video with just some random video, right? I always wonder why was there like a game or some shit, or like a random gameplay on the like bottom of it. And I always wondered that. I'm like, what the fuck? Why do people do this shit for? What's the point of this? Until I found out, I'm not gonna lie to you. I found this out literally a week ago. They do this shit because motherfuckers have short attention spans. So they do this shit so motherfuckers will have something to look at and be interested in while the other, while the main video is fucking playing. That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. I never even noticed that so I was like, why do motherfuckers do this type of shit? That, that's the crazy. video in case if we get bored watching the video on top. That's really, who crazy. made this shit up? Even the word yapping is an example of this. I've seen niggas come. Oh yeah, that's like a new thing now, yapping. I guess yapping is this new thing is where like, um, like how I'm doing right now, motherfuckers call this yapping. Or it literally, if you just talking, motherfuckers just say, oh, you yapping. Pretty much, you ain't talking about shit, folks. You just chat like a motherfucker. And yes, this video too, I seen motherfuckers literally put a yapping like sound over the Martin Luther King speech. Yo, I... Thanos was right. I'm yapping under MLK speech. Y'all really have no Crazy shame. Zero. Gen Z will also get mad at boomers for falling for a dumbass Facebook conspiracy theory. Meanwhile, y'all will fall for a random Twitter account with no news. Facts. You niggas elite. This is how Gen Z get their information from. I'm finna tell y'all a little niggas something, alright? And say I'm wrong. Gen Z literally does this. Whatever tweet has the most likes and retweets and interaction about a certain situation or opinion, that person must exactly be right. They not gonna do no background research. They ain't gonna look for. They ain't gonna do no research. They ain't gonna um do none of that shit for. They ain't gonna do their research on the shit. They ain't gonna do nothing. All they need to do is just look at a tweet that has the most likes. Yes, this person hundred percent right about this situation. Swear to God, folks. That's why I say on the internet it's so easy to miss. See, I've talked about this shit before. It's so easy to mislead people on the internet. And Twitter's the main fucking place. It's all you have to do is start rumor getting a lot of likes, and everybody believe you. Because nobody does their research. Everybody just goes off numbers, bro. I swear to God, G. Fuck you talking about. Backing, tweeting out that a celebrity died two minutes ago. It's crazy how fast we just spread things around without factually checking if it's true. Well, and Gen Z 100% has the means to do it. We were born with the internet in the palm of our hand. This is another no-brainer, but the amount of attention seekers in Gen Z has triumphed every single other generation combined. It's 100% right. because of the internet and how fast things spread, but it's put a bad name on everyone else that's normal. Like a boomer will see one of y'all harass a random lady on the street daily for clout no wonder they think we're useless. It's probably their one Facebook post they see before hitting a 16 hour old person nap. Another thing is weird <laughs> styles, and it's not like other generations didn't have weird styles, but the birth of the word aesthetic took it to another level. Y'all will make anything in- Fo, I swear to God, fo. That's another thing that's like wrong with like this whole generation that we're living in right now. Like y'all kids will literally like call anything aesthetic or call it fashion, boy. I swear to God, like niggas elite for I done seen niggas wear holes in their shirt and call that shit fashion and shit. Like, I don't I don't know. It's just like I don't know, like, do y'all be seeing like on the internet sometimes how bitches literally be going out wearing nothing but just damn near just like see-through clothing and shit. They be having no underwear. You can see they titties, they fucking they ass, they put you can see all that shit like fo. Uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I don't know. Uh, Y'all see what the fuck I be wearing? I be wearing regular ass shit. An aesthetic. I've Give seen them. aesthetics from being homeless. Aesthetics just glorifying actual gore. And aesthetics glorifying mental illness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers, folk, there's literally a aesthetic about mental illness. Like, have, like being depressed is literally like a flex or some shit. Having anxiety is a flex. Like, people, I be seeing motherfuckers on Twitter or just online anywhere. Talking about they depressed and shit like it like it's cool like if you depressed like you should get some help you should work on yourself that's not a flex. Depression will make it aesthetic. What?
darkness which only works with gen z because we grew up with the internet and online groups but i could only imagine if these kids got sent back in time and how much they would get bullied for this shit that fake bart simpson depression you know so great. I didn't even know this was a thing to like 2018. Don't you like little kids be doing this shit? Like y'all be having a little Bart Simpson sad edit and shit. <laughs> Fake smile. Hmm. Sad. Sad. <laughs> Yo. This shit funny as hell. Depression you got would turn into a real depression real quick. Facts. And I'm imagining when Do that shit when I was growing up, niggas would have beat your ass for that shit. Made fun of your ass. Well, fuck up and rejects this on their own kids. Also, we have the worst internet challenges and trends to even exist. Like, I don't yeah. even know how it got to this point. Millennials had what? <laughs> Planking and the cinnamon challenge as their most dangerous things? We've got the blackout challenge the lick a toilet seat challenge and whatever random thing people come up with to do like i really miss when the internet had positive challenges when's the last time we had an ice bucket challenge or something but wrapping things up every oh i miss them days man ice bucket challenge i really miss them days you know what's so crazy i was supposed to do the ice bucket challenge years ago i remember i wanted to do it but i never got around to doing it though i miss them days generation whether old or new is going to have their impact felt for centuries to come and i know i shit on every kind of fucked combined, up if you think but about don't it, get me wrong most people are pretty normal and good regardless of when they were born every generation has things they've done that have helped the world in some way and i made sure to leave this message at the end just to see which generation will get triggered the most in the comments before finishing the video follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok as always i love you guys consensually. Nice and until next time <clears throat> i'm out don't fall now Tight shit though. Tight shit, tight shit. Shout uh shout out Tommy and SG. You feel me? Shout out Tommy and SG. Fuck man, I should say fuck every single generation. I don't fuck with none of you bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna be real. I don't fuck none of you hoe ass niggas, man. Especially generations, especially Gen Z. Ugh. Now that shit, ugh. I don't really fuck with Gen Z. I'm gonna be real. I do not fuck with them niggas at all. Oh, but W V though.